Well, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to our service uh, this uh, afternoon now. Uh, welcome to St. James. I think for some of you, certainly welcome back to St. James, and, uh, but it's really lovely to uh, have you here in the building, and also those of you joining us uh, online as well. Uh, a very warm welcome to you. Uh, if you can hear me, can I encourage you just to give us a wave? Uh, if you're in your home, that's lovely. Uh, that's love to see you there. Uh, yeah, so so very warm welcome to you online and obviously here in the church building. My name is Kit. I'm the vicar here at St. James. And uh, like I said, it's great to welcome you back. Uh, it was lovely to meet some of you uh, when we had the exhibition the portrait, uh, Windrush Portrait of a Generation, uh, and which Jim uh, staged. So welcome back. Everything that we need for the service uh, will be on the screen, but also you have a, ha uh, a service sheet uh, with you as well. Um, as we, I'll introduce the service as we uh, go along. The service um, this afternoon is a service of thanksgiving and remembrance. So it's a time to give thanks uh, for the way that God has guided us and helped us through the last 16 months or so. But also it's a time to remember uh, our friends who have, uh, who have passed away. So we are giving thanks and we're remembering uh, this afternoon. So I'm going to start with a Bible verse. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Amen. Uh, feel free to take your masks off now that you're seated and uh, it's great that we can sing together. So that'd be great. We'll be able to sing together. Uh, we just ask you to put your masks on when you uh, go towards the back and when, when you're quite near each other. But of course, there will be refreshments and you can take your mask off for the refreshments. You'll be glad to hear. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can gather online and in this church building to give thanks for your goodness and to remember our friends. We thank you that you call us your friends. We pray that you will draw us together by your Holy Spirit, encourage us, lift our spirits, and lift our hope in you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's uh, begin by uh, singing uh, a great hymn, Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound. You'll find the words on the screen, but also on your service sheet. If you'd like to, feel free to stand or sit however you feel comfortable. And those of you online, feel free to join in, but just make sure that your devices are on mute. Right. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. grace appear the hour I first believed through many dangers toils and snares I had already come tis grace that brought 
safe thus far And grace will lead me home When we've been there a thousand years Bright shining as the sun We know less days to sing God's praise Than when we first begun Let's do verse 1 again Amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Amen. Please be seated. And we're going to have our first reading from Psalm 23. Would you like to read from up there? Thank you. First reading is taken from Psalm 23, verse 1 to 5. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkness valley, I'll fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. Thank you very much. We've come together to give thanks uh, for the way that God has guided us for the last 16, 17 months. And so, first of all, Leslie is going to come forward and she's going to say some uh, words. Stockwell Good Neighbours, friends, it's so good to be able to see you today in person. It's been a long time coming. And also, we welcome everyone who's been able to attend via Zoom. I know not everyone's able to be here, but uh, what a joy it is for us to actually meet again together. Who would have thought that when we came to see Jim's wonderful photography exhibition called Hope here at St. James's Church back in March 2020, that would have been the last occasion that we would have met together before the pandemic. And the title of the exhibition was so very apt, wasn't it? For what lay ahead, Hope. It was called Hope. And I feel Hope is actually what has sustained us through these 18 months or so. It's been a difficult, challenging time uh, and a difficult year for all of you. And I know that many of you have had to deal with your own changes in your health and well-being and also your family's health and well-being. And many of you have actually suffered losses yourselves. I'm so pleased though that we have been able to continue to connect with you all through our Stockwell Good Neighbours, through our magazines that we've been sending out 
initially we weekly, then fortnightly, and then now monthly, and that you've been able to contribute to those. You've sent in photographs, you've sent in articles, you've sent in wonderful prayers. And I think this has helped people uh, feel connected to each other. So uh, thank you all for that. We've also met on Zoom, usually weekly. Some of you have been able to attend and we've had Tai Chi. And it's great that Michael's here with us today, our Tai Chi leader. Uh, we've had a game of bingo. We've chatted and kept connected and we've prayed for those who haven't been so well. And um, I think that's been really uplifting for, for us all. And Annie's here today from our community police, so it's lovely to see Annie. And Jerry couldn't come today, and as you know, Jerry has been suffering with her own Ill, Ill health and also her mother's. So Zoom has kept us going. And also the, um, the WhatsApp group that we set up, the, the Stockwell Good Neighbours WhatsApp group. And I think we have about 35 people on that. And that's been a way of us keeping connected, sharing messages of hope and positivity, keeping up to date with what's going on. So these are all ways that we've managed to connect. So thank you, Stockwell for Good Neighbours, for playing your part in that. That's been wonderful. And of course, you've been doing a lot because you've been phoning people. Um, you've all had a little cluster of friends that you've been phoning regularly. And I know some of you have been spending a whole day sometimes on the phone, keeping up to date, making sure everybody's all right. And I think that's been really lovely. And I think keeping connected has actually given people the hope that we've needed. It's helped us overcome the isolation and the loneliness that the, this 18 months uh, and the pandemic has actually necessitated. And in my mind, this hope has brought community together. So I hope the future for Stockwell Good Neighbours will be one of keeping those connections and developing and strengthening our friendships. Thank you, Jim, for your ongoing support of our group and Vicar Kit for being so accommodating and welcoming to our group and leading our service today. So we thank God for bringing us this far and look forward with a hope to our next part of the journey together. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, Leslie. An opportunity for anyone else who'd like to give thanks, um, either um, you can come up here and say something, or just where you are, maybe a word or a phrase or a sentence. If there's anything anyone would like to give thanks, go for it. Yeah. Now let me just bring this here so we can. So my name is Eustace Stevens and uh, I'm a part of the Stockwell Good Neighbor. And uh, I don't think we'll find another person to run Stockwell Good Neighbor as Leslie has. She's one in a million. And uh, she keep us together. She's not prejudiced in any way. And uh, we give God thanks for her. And uh, we just pray to God that things will get better, that we can go back, you know, that we can all meet together again on a Mondays as we used to do, you know. So I'm praying and hoping that God will make clear the atmosphere that we can do that. So, so thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and you. Can I sit? Yeah. 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 Yes, I just want to give thanks as well. Um, when the beginning of the pandemic, I was one of the first ones that had the virus and I able to came, come through. I just want to give God thanks for that. And just lately, I had to go back to the hospital 
have CT scan. There was a scare that I might have, that big word that I don't like to call. And everything was cleared um, last week. Yeah, last week. Everything was cleared. So I just want to give God thanks for that. Brilliant. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else? Good afternoon, each and every one. I'm feeling good to be here because many things are going through my life, and it's under the grace of God who kept me and gave me the move to go on. I do not um, have anything like the COVID or anything, you know, on the little coffin, and I know my bush to boil, <laughs> to let it go. But I want to thank Leslie. She has her crown there waiting for her, because all the things that she do for us is precious in God's sight. And without her, we wouldn't be here today, you know, because we come to celebrate the living and those who have passed away from us, who we love dearly. And I have that in my family. My sister passed away and the funeral was Monday gone. My friend that we grew up together, just the line part us. We used to run to go to the standpipe because we never have a pipe inside our home. And we want to challenge each other who will fill the barrel before the others. You know, so that was really a joke, you know. But she lived down the seaside, you know, and I'm trying to go, but I cannot. You know, by the grace of God, assist me. Then my adopted mom, because I know I've never grew up with a mom. So I adopt one when I came here, to, in England here. Yeah. And she passed away. The funeral will be on the 20th of this month. Then my brother-in-law, he have a stroke, you know. So he having carers there now helping him, you know. And we wasn't looking for that, you know. But Jesus knows everything. What we don't know, he knows it. You know, because he's by our side day by day. And I do not want to channel anyone. But thanks be to God. I'm here today to celebrate each and every one and the death of our family in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think it's the sign of the times that I need to uh, sanitize your hands, having <laughs> given them the microphone. There you go. <laughs> we'll do. Thank you. Yes, we'll do, Jim. There you go. Yep, I'm just going to, that's another sign of the times. Just going to admit someone on Zoom. There we go. So many, thang many things to give thanks for. Uh, let's, let's pray. Let's give thanks to God. God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends, without which there would be no life. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions on the journey of life, who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We give you thanks for this day, for life, for one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors, and one more person to love, and by whom be loved, for your grace, and one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us, 
to be our God and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal, loving God. Through Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. We're now going to have our second reading. Our second reading is from John 14, verses 1 to 6. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If they were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be there where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. So how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much. There have been many things that have disrupted our lives over the pandemic. And one of the things have been traveling, whether traveling to work, to see family and friends, traveling on holiday, even travels for leisure. All these traveling travels have been disrupted. Things that are comforting and familiar have been disrupted. And yet we have discovered that beyond all which is familiar is a love and a companion who holds us and keeps us and journeys with us. Because the journey of life has not been disrupted. We are all on this journey of life. Some of us have experienced a lot on this journey. Some of us have gone through beautiful places, seen uplifting and inspiring sights. And we have also gone through dark storms, ugly places, dangerous and fearful and sad times. This diverse journey continues for all of us. But some of our number have ended their journey and they are now at rest. Both our readings speak about God who accompanies us on this journey. We can give thanks that he is the good shepherd who, unlike the bad shepherd, never leaves us or abandons us. He leads us to the quiet places of rest. He gives us, guides us on the right path when we come across confusing crossroads. He places his hand on our shoulder and walks us through those fearful and sad times. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. He says that he has gone ahead of us, that life is not something that we live alone, but we go to the place where he has been. He says that he has gone to prepare a place for us. Many of us can recall the joy that we feel as we prepare a guest room for those who are visiting us. As we think of the little individual personal touches that makes that room personal and homely for the person who is visiting us. And many of us 
can remember being cared for when we have been ushered to a beautifully and lovingly prepared room for us. We can know that those who are no longer with us have completed their journey and they are with Jesus. Jesus knows them individually and he knows them personally to prepare a room for them. I heard someone say recently to think about the happiest when you are on earth and heaven is like that. I think there's some truth to that. We can know that those who are no longer with us did not make that final part of the journey on their own. When we could no longer be there for them, Jesus says, he is. He's the one who comes to take us to our place of rest. Like a small boat that tugs a large ship to the dock, except he is the great ship that leads us home. Today we give thanks for our friends, loved ones who have completed their journey. We give thanks for the God who is always with us, who has guided us through these last 16 months. We give thanks that we are still here to live another day. We give thanks that we do not travel alone, but with friends. And it is wonderful to hear the way that you've been in touch with each other through this pandemic. We give thanks that we can be here today to sing and to pray and to be with one another, both here in the building physically, but also online as well. We are joined together. Amen. We're now going to come to the time of remembering those who have gone before us. And uh, we're just going to put some uh, photos of our friends. And Leslie is going to come and read some names. So we remember today all those from Stockwell Good Neighbours who have died during the pandemic crisis. I light a candle for them today. Ken Rolf. Enid Harrison, Arthur Childs, Consella Spencer, or Gurley to us, Cynthia Marsh, Hermine Grossier, Agnes Smith, and Susan Hamilton. May they rest in peace. Amen. And there's an opportunity for anyone who would like to, to come and light a candle in memory. Uh, feel free to come to the front and take a candle, light it from the big candle and then put it on the uh, candle stand. Um, and uh, if you like, to, for those of you coming from this side, if you come and light the candle and then go back to your seats that way, those of you coming this side, go that way and I'll just make some space.
So let us commend our friends to God's safekeeping. If you are able to please stand, otherwise. Almighty God, in your great love, you have crafted us by your hand and breathed life into us by your spirit. Although we became a rebellious people, you did not abandon us to our sin. In your tender mercy, you sent your Son to restore in us your image. In obedience to your will, he gave up his life for us, bearing in his body our sins on the cross. By your mighty power, you raised him from the grave and exalted him to the throne of glory, rejoicing in his victory and trusting in your promise to make alive all who turn to Christ, we commend all of our departed friends to your mercy, and we join with all your faithful people and the whole company of heaven in the one unending song of praise, glory and wisdom and honor be to our God forever and ever. Amen. We're going to uh, declare our faith. Let's say it together. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. He was buried. He was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Afterwards, he appeared to his followers and to all the apostles. This we have received, and this we believe. Amen. Shall we pray? Please sit to pray. God of mercy, Lord of life, you have made us in your image to reflect your truth and light. We give you thanks for all that is good and which gives us joy for the love of family and friends, for the gift of life, for the journeys that we have been through, for the grace and mercy we have received from you. We also give you thanks for our friends who have ended their journey, for all that was good in their lives, for the memories we treasure today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for all who have helped us in the journey of life over the last 17 months of this pandemic. For doctors and nurses and all who work in the medical profession, for all support staff, for key workers, for emergency workers, for family and friends, and for the kindness of strangers. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for this group, for the leadership of Leslie, for the love and care that has been shown among this group, enabling them to be connected, for the amazing people who are part of it, both who are with us today and those who we remember. And we give you thanks for this day when we can come together to be with each other, to remember, give thanks, and have fellowship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You are tender towards your children, and your mercy is over all your works. We ask you to heal the memories of hurt and failure. Give us the wisdom and grace to use aright the time that is left to us here on earth to turn to Christ and follow in his steps in the way that leads to everlasting life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let's have a moment of quiet to bring our own prayers to God quietly in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask all these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And shall we join in with the prayer our Lord taught us to pray? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Are there, Leslie, are there any notices you want to give? Or just join us for refreshments at the back after the service? Yeah, uh, keep a bit of distance from each other, but uh, yeah, do join us for some refreshments at the back. Once again, it's great to see you here in the building, and also those of you online, uh, a warm welcome to you. So we're going to begin to um, draw the service to a close. First of all, we meet in the name of Jesus, and he's our peace. He gives us peace in our hearts and peace in our minds, and that peace guides us and so i'm gonna uh, and it's great to have people online as well so those of you online uh, can i encourage you to unmute your devices if you know if you are able to do so that's lovely and so join in with the response Jesus, Jesus, i leave with you my peace i give you so the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's kind of eat. Let's wave at each other uh, here in the building and also online. Peace be with you. Let's give ourselves a sign of peace. Peace will be with you all. Peace be with you. That's lovely. I'm going to mute everyone for a little while. So let's receive God's blessing. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, make you perfect in every good work to do his will. And the blessing of God Almighty, that of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, be with you and all those whom you love, this day and always. Amen. And so we're going to finish by singing a great song that speaks about how God has the whole wide world in his hands.
Shall we stand to sing? He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody here. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Amen. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. This is the uh, end of the service. Uh, it's been great to have you here. Please join us for some refreshments at the back. And uh, love to see everybody online as well. Thank you for joining us. And uh, take care and keep safe. And yeah, God bless and goodbye. Vicar uh, Kit, just to say thank you so much for celebrating this lovely service with us. Wasn't it wonderful and so inclusive and welcoming? So thank you very much. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely to see you all on Zoom, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you.